oh, it's just like a dumb hobby. It's just kids sitting in their basement playing Mario. And in the last 10 years, it's become a lot more than that. <laughs> it's electronic sports. And they're like, no, it's not. It's not a sport. That's stupid. Getting on board with the trend, this past year, Hofstra officially recognized its esports club as a club sport. Esports is a growing market, so next time you think that your kid is spending too much time playing video games, they might just be creating more opportunities for their future than you think. In 2018, there were 84 million esports viewers in the U.S., and esports made $900 million in revenue worldwide. Hofstra doesn't yet offer scholarships for esports, but over 100 colleges in America already do. Whoa! Whoa! A decent knife! There's a certain amount of dexterity in your hands you need. Being calm, like being physically fit, helps you play competitively. With like elevated breath rate, um, all that. Like cardio is surprisingly important. I think a lot of the people that think um, negatively of esports maybe don't really know the community. I think at the end of the day, the whole uh, label of whether it's a sport or not is completely irrelevant because esports are here and they're getting bigger every year. So if somebody wants to delegitimize it by calling it a half sport, not a sport, whatever, um, just a hobby, like they can just sit there and watch as esports guys make millions of dollars a year just like any other athlete. So. <laughs> Reporting from Hofstra University, I'm Jordan Laird.